guide you to get the required data for index calculation. First, go to the NSE's website www.nseindia.com. Then, to get the list of stocks falling under each sectorial indices, go to live market, then index. See, these are the major indices Nifty, Nifty Junior, CMA 100, and so on. Below that, there is sectorial indices that is uh, energy, FMCG, infra, pharma, and so on. See, for example, we take the pharma index. These are the stocks falling in pharma index Lupin, Ranbaxy, Dr. Reddy, Citra, and so on. Take any 10 stocks from this category to make pharma index. Now you want the price and volume information of these stocks. For that, go to products, then equities, then go to historical data, then security wise price volume markets, press search. Now type the company's name, Ranback C. Now select a time period. Our base period is 19th July 2011. 19th July 2011. Now press get data. Now just wait the day. Price data for the stocks will come. That is ran back C for 19th July. The close price is 548.80. This is the P0 for our index construction. And the trader quantity is 6 lakh 6,002. That is the Q0 for our index calculation. We can take it in slacks, that is 6.07. Just like for other stock, just change the name. See Dr. Reddy. Press get data. Dr. Reddy, the EQ and N1 series is given. We need only EQ series. Note down the close price 1599 and trader quantities 2.64. Just like continue with other stocks, and uh, these are the we are getting the P0 and Q0 right now. To get the P1 and Q1, just change the date. Our current period is 19th August 2011, so change the date to August. Now press get data. This is the Dr. Reddy's August closing price. Take the closing price 1112 total trade quantity 8.4 nine etc just like continue with other stocks and uh, now you have the q p0 q0 p1 q1 now use the lesbius method fastest method and fisher's method to calculate the sectorial indices thank you